Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be talking about Ignite Team Composition. So this team is going to be built um, applicable to a couple of content, um, especially the big three and also for your final battle. So to start off, I'm going to start off with um, a couple of non-Ignite related uh, heroes. These are going to be your staples. So you have here Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun will be one of your um, tanks or melee slash tank, whatever. He is actually very good in the front. Um, the other one is going to be Yuki. If you don't have, um, if you don't want to use Sanada, you can actually put Yuki there because both Zhao Yu and um, Yuki would be able to tank in front. Um, Sanada is going to be this guy. If you don't want to use him, he's not really required. But he's he's also good if you want to add Ignite. But sometimes it's, it's not necessary anymore. So definitely the front line will be composed of Yuki and Zhao Yun. And um, the middle in the back would be composed of the following. So one of the most um, needed is going to be Zhong Liang, which gives um, survivability for lethal damage and also a shield. And also, if you haven't seen his skill, he does this. So while the East Wind is blowing, which is his ultimate, extra burn damage will be dealt every second to the enemies that are ignited. Okay, extends the duration of the East Wind up to 12 seconds while the East Wind is blowing. All teammates, including summon creatures, critical hits ignite the enemies that they hit. Okay, so um, before I go further into, into our Ignite team, let me just define what is an Ignite team. And uh, let me show you here with... Uh, with uh, Akechi. So uh, Ignite causes the target to lose health every second. The higher its max health is, the more health is lost. Some of the figures attacks against the enemy that are ignited deal extra burn damage to them. So again, this works uh, perfectly for bosses. Um, by the way, Akechi would be one of your mid because Akechi also reduces all enemies burn resist by 25% until the battle ends and attacks and ignites all enemies for 12 seconds so his um his ignite is going to be built in to his passive and um that's it so so far he is going to be more of um, your your primary igniter um aside from the the the, the burn resist and uh, because it, it ignite is built into his passive so you have we have already a couple of uh, uh, burn uh, what they call this or sorry ignite the uh, figure so we have one so we have um zoom liang um the back with the uh, catchy um the other one that you, sh you should consider just for um survivability more survivability is going to be erixia although erixia is not really part of um, um any ignite function she's there for share health Okay, so, but if you want more firepower, you will definitely be bringing Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu, um, for his ultimate, is going to be giving you a lot of ignite as well. And he does um, healing, and also he does, uh, what do you call this? Boost adjacent uh, allies attack speed, supports all allies, boosted uh, boosts basic attack power by 40%, boost attack power of allies in the same line by 20%. So again, he does a lot of support um, just in case you don't want uh, you don't want Erixia in your team. So again, your first, your front line will be composed of uh, Zhao Yun. Next would be Yuki. Next would be definitely be Zhong Liang. Then after that, definitely Akechi because of his passive. And you have to choose either the two. You will be bringing um, Erixia or Zhao Yu for the last slot. Okay, other options for this team is going to be Sanada. As I mentioned, uh, he is an option at the front as a tank. And also your other option, if you want to bring more damage, is going to be... Where's Ri? Re actually does a lot of damage um, in terms of uh, if, uh, what do you call this, if um, 
you your 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 enemies already ignited. So attacks a random enemy six times. If the target is ignited, extra burn damage equal to forty percent of Reese attack will be dealt. So definitely a good uh, a good additional if you want additional power, especially if it's a single boss. Definitely re is going to be added to your team. So again, there are a lot of there are a lot of um, options here to go with your ignite team. So without further ado, I'll just show you something in terms of um, in terms of the formations uh, for your ignite team. Okay, so this is. Um, Hard. This is actually um, one of the stages in the big three. I'm. This is at level twenty, which is actually hard for Galite. I don't have them built well, so this is just a sample formation. But I'll do a, my best to have uh, alternative lineups for this one. So again, you have here Akechi, then you have here um, Erixia, you have here Zhongliang. Then you have Zhao Yu and Yuki here. So if you plan to be, you know, to be bringing in uh, Ri, you can't bring her because she's with uh, Let's Red. But most of the lineups here um, for Ignite, you'll be, you know, you, you won't have to go anywhere. You have it here. So your other option in this lineup is going to be um, Zhao Yu to be placed um, either... You swap him with uh, with Erixia, but again, survivability goes down, so you have to bring him back. Or you also put him um, as a replacement for a Akechi. Um, again, um, my problem with Akechi, I don't have him um, built well yet. That is why he doesn't deal that much. Um, he, he doesn't survive that much, but again, in terms of uh, Ignite, uh, Ignite and Burn, he is going to be very good. So let's try this lineup first and see how it goes. Um, then I'll do the other lineup with Akechi with uh, this Ignite team. So this is already stage 20 of of um, Galatea. Um, it's really, really hard because ideally you have to place your figures right there in the center. Um, especially for Zhao, Zhao Yu. Because he will really benefit from that buff. But again, there are two other figures on the side. Uh, those helicopters that are very pesky that you need to deal with. But again, um, Zhong Liang is actually a you know is a good addition to this team. So as you can see, all five have survived with this Ignite lineup. But um, the problem with this one is... A little bit of tweaking in terms of survivability, especially for Yuki. Yuki there is only one star Peach, by the way. That is why she is very soft and she is really, really vulnerable. But again, who knows? Maybe I could sur survive this one and uh, probably pull this off. So now we are at uh, times four. Hopefully we can clear this stage 20 with this Ignite team that I have. So again... Times three, guys. Times three. We need a little bit more um, damage towards this boss. Um, ho hopefully, I could still pull this off. Uh, we're at times one. I think we're going to be good with this one. So, so far, I only have one left. I have Zhao Yu left. Hopefully, he can pull this off. Um, I'm not sure. He's going to be near. So near the finish line. So near, so near, yes, 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 yes. So that is it for your Ignite team. Um, Akechi would, would have been a good example here. But again, he is, um, what do you call this? He is uh, so squishy right now that I, I can't put him in. But those are my suggestions, guys, for your Ignite team. So hopefully this helped you. Anyway, guys, for those who have stuck this far, please subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. And also don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any videos from my channel. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.